I'm Sonora Lynch. Um, I'm here at my home in uh, Red Earth Village, Indian Housing Development of our tribe. I'm married to Dalton Lynch and Elizabeth Quay Lynch is my daughter. I am a member of the Holowasi Pony Indian Tribe. When I first started doing pottery, I began to make pottery at the tribal school. We had a little um, pottery room. I was doing a historical replica of an old pot that was one clay painted on top of the other clay. And when I did, I scratched my name through the bottom. And when my name went into the bottom, I developed the style of pottery that I do today. I take traditional stories and put it onto the pottery. Using ideals and knowledge of the animals, the birds, the land, the people, I take those ideals and carve it into the clay. So my style of uh, designs are unique. I created a design called Who's in the Woods and Who is Your Clue? Who? And he's hiding and he's camouflaged into the trees and he's hiding in the oak trees and we, we don't see him because he looks just like the leaves and the bark of the tree. And so I took that story and I put that into pottery. Um, I took the knowledge of the turtle and I just started uh, making my turtles based on re um, the turtle representing long life. I put a lot of designs on my turtles to represent the things that are living. That we still have traditional um, stories, we have traditional beliefs, we have um, things like that that I decided that I would call my work living traditions because it would be based on the living things that we still have. Once you see my pottery you'll see that um, I use a lot of corn and a lot of tobacco in my designs and my grandfather um, James he told me that tobacco is, uh, is a medicine and he said that people really didn't just smoke it like uh, in a habit form that people do today but they really believe that when they inhale the tobacco it would heal your spirit so it was part of uh, is part of healing it's part of our spirit he also of course talked about tobacco being used as a medicine for bee stings and um, and he he said that the corn was very important and um, <clears throat> he would tell me that that was our physical medicine that was the thing that um, helped us survive, to survive for for thousands of years when you're an artist and the creator gives you things, you almost don't have a choice. You have to use it because, you know, we're always taught around here that, you know, once you're given a gift, you're, you, should be, you should use your gift because if you don't, you could lose it. I think it's important that we hold on to what we have. We are Indian people and we, we need to hold on to all we have. And I think we need to pass that on to our kids. I think when we, we pass that on, we give them strength. We give them strength to be Indian. We give them strength to believe. We give them strength to to um, to hold on to the past because you know another old saying is you know you, you can't continue in the future without the past so I think it's important to keep it going